What is going on, guys? Austin Davis, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks, and as promised, I posted on my YouTube channel yesterday that I have some uh, things to share with you guys and that I would be back very, very soon. Well, here I am, first video after like two or three weeks, so pretty excited about that. I'm at Rap Genius up in Gerald, Texas, about an hour outside of Austin, getting my new work truck wrapped. If you guys didn't see my live a few weeks ago, I just bought this 2014 F-250. Um, I'm doing a full wrap on it. Um, something that I have not done on my previous trucks, and um, I think I'm about time to make that investment. So I'm gonna get the whole track uh, truck wrapped, and it's gonna look really, really good. I got my all clean power wash systems skid looking really, really good on it. It's even got a nice uh, truck bed, it's an eight foot bed. And of course I got the six, seven power strip diesel. Things a beast, okay? Um, pulls this and the trailer fully loaded, like no issues at all, so I'm just loving it. Um, anyway, so I wanted to come on here and uh, kind of tell you what I've been going through the last month. And uh, I was gonna keep it from you guys because I was thinking to myself like, why do I need to tell the YouTube channel about it? But then I was also thinking, hey, look, this channel is about kind of what I'm going through in my life, things that, you know, trials and tribulations in my personal life and my business. Um, and at the end of the day, if this, you know, provides some level, level of entertainment or value or maybe things you can learn or not learn from, you know, I should share it. So here I am. So let's get right to it. If you read the title correctly, this is true. Um, about three weeks ago, I was in, put in jail for most of the weekend. Um, some friends of mine went to the beach um, about midway through June and uh, for my birthday, I go to the beach having some drinks on the beach. Uh, me and my friend leave the beach after seven, eight hours on the beach. We drive back down to the hotel. On the way back to the hotel, there were some people calling in on my truck saying that I was swerving off the road, running people off the road. I like to believe that that was a bit exaggerated. That was not the case. However, someone called the cops on us. We get pulled over. Um, I had very nicely told the officer when I got pulled over that I had my weapon just nicely in my center right here. Just wanna let you know that up front. Officer said, okay, cool, great. Let's go ahead and step out of the car. Um, did not uh, DUI test me or blood test me or uh, give me a breathalyzing test. I was completely sober when I was talking to him, and um, uh, which was all good. Everything was fine until my friend unveiled that he actually had a little smidgen of marijuana in his backpack, which kind of set everything through the roof there. At that point, the Corpus Christi or Port Aransas police uh, put me and my buddy in um, handcuffs. We go spend six hours in a detox room in Port Aransas, which was one hell of an experience there. Six hours after that, uh, they release my friend and uh, they put me in a in, in wrist shackles and ankle shackles in a white van and ship me across the ferry to the Corpus Christi Correctional Facility, Nueces County uh, Correctional Facility, where I spent um, about 48, almost 48 hours or 36 hours in, I can't remember now. It felt like three days, but it was really like a day and a half. Um, yeah, so I spent uh, that time in a holding cell with uh, about 20 people, you know, gangbangers, freaking people that have done some crazy stuff. Uh, if you can just I'm trying to picture what it was like in that weekend. I mean, imagine just just like the movies, you get you get shipped in, you, you get on a, in a van, you go into this jail, and you're going through the hallway, and there's people banging their heads on the glass and making all kinds of noises and like straight up dogs and they're like, you know, like howling and barking at me. Hoo, 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 hoo. Like as soon as I'm walking through the hallway, right? And I'm sitting there, you know, white boy, freaking swim trunks, loafers and a band's t-shirt on, okay? And everyone in there is just gang bangers, face tattoos in orange suits. Needless to say, I was a prime target. You know, going through the whole chow times, them feeding us and whatnot, you know, people trying to intimidate me, asking me what I was in jail for you know, taking my food, um, just, that was just a very traumatic experience. Um, so yeah, I was in this jail cell, sleeping on the concrete floor with about 20 other guys, you know, howling and making noises and yelling and fighting through the night, not able to sleep for that whole time, you know, being starved, basically the food that they serve you is just absolutely inedible. The water comes from 
a toilet faucet, which bas ba barely trickles out the little faucet. So you basically have to put your mouth on this really disgusting contaminated metal to even get a little bit of just some filthy contaminated hose water, basically, that's just not even pure or anything. It's just fucking disgusting. Um, the food that they served you was like these little bologna sandwiches and one single Oreo and the bologna was just tasted like inedible guys you can't i could you can't eat it as it's unedible and i remember this one big huge guy sat right next to me as soon as i got my sandwich i take i took a little nibble of it and i put it down and the first and the next thing that dude said to me was he said i'm guessing that sandwich is mine and i said dude whatever take the sandwich okay so i didn't eat anything for like a day and a half two days i barely drunk any water i lost eight pounds got sent home um that one night after my time there and just traumatic guys i lost weight I got back home. I was just really, really shooken up. Um, didn't want to post any content work wise. I was just really just out of it. That experience really just really, really shook me up. I'm just traumatic experience. I should not have been in that jail. Those officers were a bunch of dicks. And thankfully I got an attorney and got it all dismissed because what I went through and what I got went to jail for, you know, having, I went to jail for unlawful carry for some marijuana that really wasn't mine, but since there was drugs and weapons in the same vicinity, and since I was the owner of that weapon and I was driving that truck, I went down for it. Uh, so that's what happened in the middle of June. Um, then, you know, towards the end of June and to now, I've been kind of going through a situation with uh, a breakup, basically getting over just a woman that I really care a lot about and I still do care a lot about and that's been really affecting me and so we're kind of going through it right now and I'm just in a period of just not knowing what to do um you know I'm getting some space from my girlfriend ex-girlfriend or whatever you want to call it and you know I'm still wrapping my head around all that and I still have a lot of emotions about that and so in combination with the jail the girlfriend situation and us going through that and we're still going through that and the fact that it has slowed down a little bit with work, I've just been in a period of just figuring out myself and what I want to do, what direction I want to go with my channel, and and whatnot and so forth. Business is still running, okay? I'm still out here um, getting stuff done, getting my truck wrapped, okay? Um, and uh, I did hire one guy who I'm training right now um, who is going to be using pulling my trailer in marble falls okay so i've talked about that on my channel it hasn't i haven't really been uh i couldn't really see that to fruition uh because how am i going to operate by myself and in marble falls at the same time i needed someone to be out there well i have a guy good friends with my cousin who has been working with me he's going to be getting a truck and he's been learning the window cleaning business and fresh washing business from me as soon as he gets that truck really, really soon we're going to put a location in marble falls which is an hour away from me and we'll get that everything set up uh, with that. So that'll be exciting. And then obviously I'm still expanding my Austin business. Um, a lot of you guys know uh, I was in real estate for a while. I had to put that down about March because honestly it was causing too many issues with my girlfriend. At the time we were working together, which caused a lot of issues in the relationship. And also I just can't possibly, I couldn't possibly do the real estate and the pressure washing at the same time they're just and youtube it was just way i was uh, it was way too much time spent doing that or i couldn't even breathe so closed a couple deals ended up putting the business down and honestly i just really wasn't passionate about real estate I, i'm not passionate about taking someone into a house and, and showing them this, this nice kitchen and these nice cabinets and whatnot didn't excite me enough so closed a couple deals let that go so now i'm strictly building my power washing business and the youtube channel okay my goal of the channel is still and has always been to inspire you, to share my story, to continue to post the things that I'm working on and learning. To, that way, hopefully, you guys can take some little bit of value and information from it, okay? You know, that being said, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to go with this channel, okay? I am not, I don't like to label myself as a power washer. I don't like to label myself as, you know, someone who is teaching the industry, at my core, I feel like I'm someone who just wants to inspire someone, inspire people to go out there and start their own side hustle, side business, side income for themselves to hopefully grow it into a main income, okay? I really wanna see people win. 
I want to see people do stuff for themselves. I want to see people leave the shit that they hate doing on a day-to-day -day basis and go out there and chase their passions and go out there and make money from things that they truly love to do. Um, and, you know, buy some of that freedom back. I mean, holy shit, so many people are doing things that they don't want to do and they don't know how to escape that little rut, okay? And so that's kind of what I want to do. And I think my Uber is here. So I'm going to have to pick up this conversation here in a bit. Up in Round Rock? There's always traffic in Round Rock. But lately, now that they've added that extra little lane there. All right. Had to get those tires rotated. I'm back, baby. All right, I'm back in my truck. Uh, this truck was sitting at discount tag, getting a rotation and balance done while I was getting the other truck way up north, getting the wrap done. And I had an Uber all the way back. So um, anyway, kind of finishing up what I was talking about, um, kind of expanding on those points is, um, you know, there's so many people out there that are doing things that they don't like to do. Um, I see it from people I know, people I'm friends with, friends of friends, people I went to high school with, uh, you know, you'll see these huge posts on Facebook. Oh, I'm so excited. I graduated college and I got you know, this job, I, I just now accepted a job as a data analyst and I'm so excited. And, you know, two months later, they hate their job, okay? Basically what's going on is people are doing things that they truly do not want to do, that they're not passionate about. And, you know, it uh, it sucks because no one wants to be out there doing what, not, what they don't want to do. People want to, uh, you know, make money and control their time and, and, and control their schedule and be able to do what they want to do, right? And uh, so that's kind of what I want to focus on is, uh, you know, ways that you can do that. Um, obviously I kind of, I don't want to say I've made it because I, I, I don't think I have, uh, to, I mean, it's, making it's all relative. Um, but I have gotten from a point where I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Uh, you know, working jobs that I hated being in sales, you know, gut wrenching sales job that I just really hated that I was good at, but I hated, um, to doing this power washing thing, which has completely changed my life. Uh, starting a YouTube channel really changed my life. Um, and you know, I do have a relative sense of free, uh, not really freedom, freedom. I can't buy anything I want, obviously, but I can control my schedule. I can go out and do the things that I want to do. I can, if I want to take a little vacation, I can do that. I have the money to do that. Right. And so I just feel like if people can get to at least this kind of level where they can more or less control their life and not have to ask their boss when they can go on vacation, when they can use the bathroom, when they can go to lunch, when they can do things with their family. Okay, I just think that that's something that most humans or all humans should have the right to do and have the ability to do. Um, and so that's kind of where I wanna go with my channel. Obviously I did it with power washing, um, but you know, there's so many other things that you can do uh, to you know bring in an extra $500,000 into your life. I mean, an extra $1,000 into you know, everyone's life could, can be the, the, a huge difference, a huge game changer. If the average person, average American had an extra thousand dollars coming into their life. So whether they do that by window cleaning, by pressure washing, by mowing, by, you know, junk removal. I got a friend that owns a junk removal company. He started two years ago and he's killing it. It's just like, wow, the things that you can do out there to make money is crazy. Bunch of services out there that people are looking for, that people want to hire people for. Um, you know, there's a bunch of people on YouTube, uh, you know, teaching all the fancy ways to make money like stocks and drop shipping and, uh, you know, uh, uh, just all kinds of crazy fancy things, foreign exchange trading, how you can get rich and everything. Okay. Look, there's people that have gotten rich doing that, but that's very, very small amount of people. Okay. When I know that average, a hundred percent of the average American can go out to Home Depot, buy $20 worth of window cleaning equipment and make $200 by the end of the day. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff that I want to keep, uh, be the forerunner uh, for on YouTube is just teaching the average American, the average person how to go out there and make an extra $500,000 a month, okay? Because I know that is going to be the huge game changer and that's kind of what I want to focus my, uh, my channel on. So I kind of want to take a step back from the technicalities of pressure washing and the uh, you know, the fitment questions and, and the chemical questions. I get a lot of questions on YouTube, you know, you know, what kind of chemicals do I use for this? Or, or how do I connect these fittings and bulkhead fittings in my trailer? Guys, I'm not gonna be that guy to answer those questions. Guys, I have a builder that builds all that stuff, okay? All Clean Power Wash Systems in Virginia. Go hit up Brian, okay? He's linked down in the description. He does all my equipment stuff. There's a bunch of guys on YouTube, okay? You know, the Core 4, if you guys are into those guys, a bunch of other people, powerful improvements, okay? Those are guys that, um, are gonna teach you more the technicalities around pressure washing. I'm after a much larger, I'm trying to actually have a much bigger impact than the people involved in the pressure washing industry. I wanna help you guys, okay? I want you guys to get into a very, very good position, but at the end of the day, there are so many other people out there that are in need of some kind of motivation, some kind of person to tell them what they should do or what they can do to go out there and hustle and get it and bring it in. 
that's what I'm after, guys. So if you, uh, you know, if you notice kind of a, you know, a different direction in my content, that's what's going on. Okay, I'm evolving as a human. Okay, I started making my ch uh, my YouTube channel based off the technicalities of pressure washing and things that I've learned. Okay, then I started going into day to day vlogs of pressure washing. You know, the business, how I get jobs, going into that kind of this, you know, the, the the business element of pressure washing. And now I'm realizing is there's so many other people just looking at my friends and and friends of friends and people I went to high school with. Man. There's so many people out there that need some level of sense of direction. And I've said this probably a thousand times on my channel is I'm not a pressure washing millionaire or some person that's some high level person that you should probably take advice from. I'm just a person that has been here, okay, got to this level, and I'm trying to get to this level. So if I can just help someone get from right here to here, I think I've done my job. And if I can get from here to here, as soon as I get to here, I'm gonna teach everyone that's here and here how to get to here, okay? So I'm never gonna teach people how to get somewhere that I have not physically done or been or accomplished. Um, that is not me. So I realize I'm going on a little rant here, but um, I think this has been uh, something I've been meaning to say for a while. And uh, obviously you guys know <laughs> I was in jail for that, uh, that that weekend, which kind of affected me and kind of made me t think about a lot of things. And I'm going through uh, you know, a situation with my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend and you know, realizing the emotions that through all that and um, uh, taking my time to deal with that. Um, but anyway, you know, this week I have a loaded week. I got three big roof cleanings, a couple house washes, and I, you know, the past couple weeks have been a little slow, but we're getting right back at it. I'm going to do uh, a day in the life of a pressure washing business owner video this week. So, uh, be tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. And, uh, hope you guys are just getting, uh, you know, entertainment and any kind of nuggets of information from my channel. Um, like I said, the goal of the channel is to inspire you to, to provide, uh, content and, uh, you know, hopefully give you guys something to watch in the afternoon after a tough day of work and just someone, you know, hopefully that you can just kind of, you know, tune into my videos and kind of be at peace with me and kind of level with me. And, uh, you know, if you like what you guys are watching, do hit the subscribe button. I would love to hit a hundred thousand subscribers this year. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Um, the only reason I'd like to hit that goal is not for an ego statement, just so I know that we are, you know, actually helping people out there in this world. Okay. There's people out there that are consuming my content that says, Hey, you know what? I want to stick around with this guy. So that's kind of what, uh, I'm hoping to do. That'd be so awesome. So, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the next videos. Peace out.